My Project 13, as promised. The other day during the video vlog, I mentioned I was going to bring in a surprise device. But right off the bat, I want to let you know. So stay with me during this unboxing and partial review that this is not a flagship device. This is not a mid-range device. This is a budget device. I don't just want to cover top tier devices or mid-rangers. I want to cover budget devices. There are a group of people out there who can't afford some of those top tier devices or even a mid-range device. I want to reach different groups of people. But in reaching different groups of people, when I choose a device, I want to choose it because I know there's something maybe special about it. And you'll let me know in the feedback or response if it's a big deal or if it's, if it's not a big deal. And, and that's what that comment section is for, so I need to know that. But there was a few areas on this specific device that caught my attention, and I thought, man, I think I, think I should cover it. And I'm hoping that during the time that I use it, it'll turn out to be a special device for under 200 bucks. So we'll see. Now this company, you'll know it as soon as I open the box. And I actually had a bad experience with one of the devices from this company. So this is my second go with this company. So I'm hoping that it will be a better experience. They have come along slowly but surely and they're getting better at making better devices. So we're going to see how this goes. Again, stay with me, okay? So here we go. Another busy day at work. Crazy day at work. I got one more shift and my turkey days are over for this year. Now remember, oh well now you've seen it, huh? It peeked through the box. Okay. It's a blue device. Now, you're saying, blue? Yeah, it's no Huawei Nexus 6P. It's no Moto X, Pure Edition 2015. It's no Nexus 6. It's no LG V10. It's no Note 5. Well, I know that, okay? But, what if? You see that? Get out of the shadows there. 5,000 milliamp battery on this device. The Blue Studio Energy 2. Okay, that's what caught my attention. That 5,000 milliamp battery. You want to know what else caught my attention? Usually these devices by Blue have like IPS displays. This has a 5 inch HD Super HD AMOLED display. Yeah, AMOLED, not IPS, AMOLED. Plus that 5,000 milliamp battery. And here's the other thing, 4G LTE. So we have a Super HD AMOLED display, 1.5 gigs of RAM, and 4G LTE. And it does run Android 5.0 Lollipop, not 5.1. Now, this is the other thing about Blue, is that they're really slow to give their updates. So hopefully they'll get better as their devices get better. But again, remember that this is a budget device. But already on this budget device, we have a Super AMOLED display, 5,000 milliamp battery, 4G LTE, and the 1.5 gigs of RAM. It's got an 8 megapixel camera on the back. That is supposed to be the best 8 megapixel camera on any blue device. So, And they have a lot of devices with 8 megapixel cameras on the back. This is supposed to supersede all of those cameras, okay? So hopefully they're right. And it has 1.3 gigahertz of RAM. It is a quad-core MediaTek processor, okay? So, yeah, it's not a Qualcomm Snapdragon. It is MediaTek, but that's okay. It's all right. Okay, so the reason I brought it in really was the battery, the Super AMOLED display, the 4G LTE. The rest, I think, is going to be fine. Typically on these devices, a lot of folks download different launchers because what happens is you have the blue skin over the top of Lollipop. 
So if there is any lag or any stutter, you download something like Google Launcher or Nova Launcher and it usually takes care of that. But I'm gonna see what it does. I'm gonna, you know, use it for a while. But we're gonna take it out of the box. Okay, now I have a different light coming in right here, so let me know how that is. Give me some feedback on that. If there's too much shadowing, let me know so I don't have to use that. I can figure out a different area to put it. Um, so um, we're going to open this up. And this is my first white device. I've never had a white device. Let's put this aside for just a second. Time for the glasses, folks. Right? So, we're going to open up this puppy because it's got a lot of extras in here. We're going to take that out. So, there's your USB cable. Nothing special. It's white. Some headphones. And they're pretty nice looking, actually. Not too bad but I'm sure they're not that spendy to begin with. You got your wall port, which is actually pretty nice looking. Okay. And then we got a special little piece here, which this allows, it's a little cable that allows you to charge other devices. So that's nice because at 5,000 milliamps, this device wants to share the energy with other devices. Now that's cool. That's an unselfish thing for this device to want to do. Share the battery life with another device. So that's awesome. So this, carry this around and, you know, if my Nexus 6 needs a little juice, I'll take it from here over to there. So that's basically it. Oh, wait a second. My bad. Comes with a case. I didn't have to pre-order a case for this device. Typically, I have to pre-order my screen protectors and a case for my devices coming in not with this one and guess what a screen protector so you get a screen protector a case your USB cable your headphones an adapter to charge another device 5000 milliamp wall port and of course your how to's what not to do's okay so we're gonna put all that aside and thanks for sticking with me, okay? Because I think by this point, you should be thinking, okay, how much is this device? It's 180 bucks. Now again, why pick up this device? Because it's the 5,000 milliamp battery that intrigues me, along with the AMOLED display, along with the 4G LTE, and then everything else behind that. Expandable memory up to 64 gigs, yep. So this is a 16 gig variant, but it is expandable, so it's got an SD card slot. Again, it has a quad-core MediaTek processor, 1.3 gigahertz. So hopefully, there's not too much laggy or stuttering. Hopefully, there's it's a smooth ride, okay? So this is the device. It's what? Not bad for a plastic back, which is a little slippery, but that's what the case is for. And on the sides, it's got aluminum now I don't know if that's aluminum plating but that looks like it's real aluminum I'm thinking that is real I'm gonna have to look it up if you guys know let me know but that feels it just doesn't look it feels like real aluminum okay so we're going to take off Wow, that was nice. Five inch display. Super AMOLED HD. It is only 720. Okay. But it's gorgeous. Feels really good in hand. It's not too thick, but it's not too thin for a five inch display. And it's beautiful. It really is. I like the aluminum sidings and top bottom. You got your um Obviously, your front-facing camera right here. These are your capacitive buttons that are down below on the chin. So it's not going to be on the display, which is fine. I'm fine with that. It's no big deal. Um, your back, of course, there's your um, 
single flash and then your 8 megapixel camera and there's your blue logo and then there's your speaker grill hopefully you can see that and we're going to take off the back without breaking it boy that feels okay and there's that huge 5,000 milliamp battery. Now, this is a dual SIM. So you got two SIMs to work with. One and two. So if you're going out of the country, you got dual SIM support. Plus, your SD card is going to go right up top right here. There's your first SIM. Second SIM. Sorry about that. And then, of course, that's where your speaker is. You can see that, hopefully. Again, I hope this lighting's okay. So yeah, so let's go ahead and power this on. You got your power button there, your volume rocker right above. So typically, the power button is usually right up top and the volume rocker is below, so it's opposite. And up top, you got your microphone jack right there. And down below, over to the right, your USB charging port. So you guys, this is not anything special as far as unboxing. I just... I wanted to bring this in because one of the biggest things I get on this channel, the biggest hits I get are on videos that have to do with battery life. I mean, as soon as I upload a video on battery life, man, I get hit after hit after hit after hit after hit. So you can see why I was intrigued to bring in this device because I'm thinking 5,000 milliamps. Now, would you love to have a device as a backup device? or as a daily driver, or whatever, that has that capacity. Now, supposedly, it's supposed to go about two to three days without a charge. Now, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to test this device in the battery life, and I will do a couple other tests. But I think that's the major thing that I'm intrigued with. How long, after I charge it completely all the way up, how long will the juice stay in here? How long will it take me down the road before I have to plug it back in? So my goal is to get my SIM in here, get my SD card in here, set it up. Tomorrow morning, take it with me to work through the whole day. And I'm hoping at the end of the day, I still got battery life. I can watch a movie before I hit the sack. Wake up in the morning and hopefully that there's still battery juice in there and through the day tomorrow. So if this even lasts with heavy usage through tomorrow into the next day and then let's say afternoon time it starts to run with how I use devices I'll be pretty stoked so we're gonna see how long this blue device the Studio Energy 2 can last with a 5000 milliamp battery and then I'm gonna you know make sure how the performance is and and so forth you know so I want to make sure that um, this could be a worthy device for you to pick up if you're looking for a backup device to your top tier device or your mid-range device, if you're looking for a student device, if you're looking for a daily driver and you don't have very much money to spend, you only have a couple hundred smacks, hopefully this might be a worthy device to pick up alongside of the Moto G 3rd Gen or an Asus Zenfone 2. Now remember, with the blue skin over the top of Lollipop, you're basically getting a stock Android experience. There's only a couple little apps that Blue has on their device. It's not a lot. So you're almost getting a pure Android stock experience. And that's a good thing, especially when you don't have a lot of RAM so hopefully the experience and performance will be smooth and not, again, too laggy. I don't expect it to be perfect. I already know that. But again, my whole thing with this device was the fact that it's that battery. That's the, this is why I brought it in. I, you know, if, if, if this turns out to be awesome in battery, well, 180 bucks. There you go. Now I will tell you, it's kind of a cheesy wallpaper. But I can, I can live with that. I, I'm going to change the wallpaper. But so far, that feels super smooth. That just feels smooth. 
Not too bad. So hopefully my experience on this device is a good one and you might consider it again as whatever you want to use it for. So I'll bring more to you and um, we'll go with that. This was the unboxing of the Blue Studio Energy 2 5000 milliamp battery for GLTE unlocked. Should be able to use it with AT&T and T-Mobile. Okay, so I'll be using it with T-Mobile and we'll see how the experience, it's a beautiful AMOLED display. That's gorgeous. I mean, it is gorgeous. It is poppy. The blacks are black, the blues are blues, the whites are whites. It is poppy. So you guys, thanks for watching. This was a lengthy video and I hope that you liked it. Please leave a thumbs up if you do. If you're new, let me know what you think. If you're considering a budget device, I'll be coming with a lot more about this device. And we'll see how it is. It feels really good in hand. Really good. It's a sexy little device. It's white. I've got to make sure I put the case on it because I don't want to get that dirty. So, till my next vid, this is my Project 13. God bless. Have a good evening.